Jimmy Lee. Today I'm going to share what I learned with Mr. Bob Proctor about the three common paradigms that block success. But before I do that, I share something with you this morning. Actually, this morning I was ready to make a video to share what I learned from Mr. Bob Proctor, but、uh, Margaret got up for breakfast. You know, she's my priority, so I made her breakfast. And then she started talking to me about my situation. She mentioned that you know you should analyze your program, you know, progress from marketing point, and make a clear plan with numbers. You cannot just say I'm confident it will happen. She thought I'm still doing online business using ClickFunnel. She wants to see the receipt. That's our joke. I tell you something. And then I couldn't say to her, "Miss Bob Proctor woke me up in October. Now I know I'm a spiritual being living in a physical body, gifted with intellect, and I raise my awareness using my high faculty, perception, the will, reason, imagination, memory, intuition, to see the world." Then she would think, "Oh, three months." She wasn't at home. Mommy getting crazier. So I, I won't say anything to her until I have a physical approval. Because we had a conversation before this. I have a joke between us. She need to see my data or receipt. Anyway, remember, you cannot force your family to understand you. Force negates. You know, this morning I just listened to Margaret. Once in a while, she was joking that she doesn't charge me. She said I got her free consultation. A lot of information she shared is valuable. She used her perception and reason and consciously. I enjoyed what she said, even though I didn't make a video as I planned. But two things I learned from this morning. One. Sometimes things will happen, not as you planted, but if it is more important than your plan, do it. Two. My message to parents: Put your ego aside, listen to your children, welcome new ideas, value diversity, respect their voice. You are giving the opportunity to learn in different perception. Anyway, that's why I learned this morning. So I share with you now. Let's go back to learn with Mr. Bob Proctor, right? And also, I told you this morning. I, you know, I should share different things. But then, when I check my email, I found this. So I share this with you. That's why now I feel like every single day we remember we're talking about we live in the ocean of emotions. So every single day I'm just learning, and I feel like. No wonder Sandy said it like a peeling onion. Like he, with Miss Bob Proctor, he has so much to learn. But I try to share the th- important things to you. Remember, we've been talking about the paradigms, and this is the three common paradigms that block success. This is from Miss Bob Proctor. I just read. Pay attention, okay? If you like it, please share. Share with your friends or whoever trusts you, because we can be, you know, raise our awareness so we can wake up because we have so much power. Anyway, this post isn't just about you. It's about also about me, and most of everyone else on the planet who wants to be, do, or have more. Throughout my life, I faced plenty of successful blocking paradigms. However, of all my harmful paradigms, the most damaging thing I used to believe was, "What I think of myself doesn't matter." I thought what other people think of me was what would make or break me. They would decide how much money I would make. What kind of relationship I could have, and how far I would go in life. Now I know that what I think of myself, my self-image, shapes and limits every area of my life. 
So as I continue to grow, I keep working on expanding my self-image to accommodate accommodate my desires. But what about you? What holds you back? Paradigms are the based on beliefs and habits that we have consciously or unconsciously chosen. Our beliefs are internalized. As a fact, until the day you decided to take a good, hard look at them and evaluate whether they are true. Here's a list of nineteen of the common, the most common beliefs I've come across that block or limit success. Read through this list and notice if any strikes a chord in you. One, I'm too old, or I'm too young. Two, I believe it when I see it. Three, I don't have the money or resources. Four, I can't. Five, I don't have enough time. Six, I'll never break through my income ceiling. Seven, change is too hard. Eight. Not trying is better than failing. Nine, I'll never be successful. Ten, I don't deserve nice thing. Eleven, there's no point in dreaming big. Twelve, I'll always be broke. Thirteen, I don't have the right education or experience. Fourteen, I'm not important. Fifteen. I'm not ready. Sixteen. I'm not strong enough. Seventeen. Everything's fine as it is. Eighteen. I wasn't born into the right kind of family. Nineteen. I don't deserve to be happy. Did you recognize yourself in any of this? Are there other limiting beliefs not mentioned here that pro? Popped in your head as you read this list. What's next? By now, you should have idea of what your limiting paradigms may be. Knowing what you are dealing with is good, but if you want to continue to grow, you have to lead yourself outside of your paradigms to help you get started. Take a look at how developing a new perspective on three of the paradigms listed above can help you start to shift your beliefs, thoughts, and behaviors, and start experiencing more success and happiness. One paradigm: I will believe it when I see it. You want something that could potentially change your life. However, you would never done anything like it before, so you don't think it's possible for you. Even though you may continue to wish you had it, you don't act on it because you cannot see yourself achieving it on your own. Breakthrough perspective: I will see it when I believe it. Another way of thinking of this new perspective is: you have to believe it to receive it. Roger Bannister breaking the four minutes mile in 1954 is an example of how this works. No one had achieved this goal, yet deep in his heart, he believed he could, so he trained for it and he did it. To adopt this new Perspective: Starting in may imagining what you want, create a detailed picture of it as it is has already happened. Then write, "I will see it when I believe it." Ten times, twice a day for thirty days. The universe responds to what you believe, not to what you wish for. Two paradigm. I can't. 
Can't is a common word that blocks your ability to grow and improve your life. Every time you say "I can't," you give away your power and diminish your capabilities. Breaking through perspective: How can I? If you don't want to do something, it's okay to say you can. You cannot do it. However, if you truly do want something and you are saying you cannot do it because you are scared or don't know how to do it, you are making yourself a victim of your circumstances. The next time I cannot come to mind when you want to be, do, or have something, rise above your circumstances by asking, "How can I?" This gives you the mind, your mind, a problem to solve. As you're seeking an answer, your mental faculties kick in, and your mind comes up with creative ideas that will help you, not hinder you. So your success. Three, paradigm. I'm not ready. Have you ever seen someone who is standing at the edge of a pool, about jumping in? I'm not ready. There they are, standing in their swimming suit. The water is good. How much more ready can you get? There's nothing wrong with planning for future or taking the time to lay after a clear plan of action. However, if planning and preparation are all you do, this could indicate that fear is preventing you from moving forward. This will hit home for you if you have a habit of waiting until everything is perfect before you do something that's outside of your comfort zone. You may have a, "I just have to do one more thing" attitude that prevents you from stepping out, stepping up and after in life, breaking through perspective. All is well. Sometimes we get so absorbed in making excuse about how things didn't turn out the way we had hoped or expected, that we forget to focus on making the best of every situation, no matter what the outcome. So instead of being afraid of what will happen if you fail or make a mistake. After some preparation, tell yourself that all is well, and understand that you will be okay no matter what happens. Failure is no big deal. Learn from it and keep going. If Thomas Edison hadn't failed thousands of times, he might not have become America's most well-known and prolific innovator. No matter what paradigms you are facing. You can shift to a new way of thinking and get a new results. Ah,、uh, here he has the picture like what happened when you change your perspective. Because there's a picture, you see when you see from a different uh, uh, perspective. See for this way, you can see as like a dog, but then you can see as a rabbit, right? He just used this as an example. Anyways, like I said. With Miss Bob Proctor, we have so much to learn. But now you know, if you want to change your life, you have to change your paradigms. And then here he show us the three common paradigms, right? And also he mentioned this like nineteen of them. So now you be aware, you have a power. Your mind can decide it, like you know, our mind with a. Conscious and subconscious mind. Our conscious mind can reject or accept. So use it wisely, and then change your paradigm. Paradigm, whatever doesn't work for you, just reject that. Changing the new one for the better life. And also, like I told you this morning, like as Margaret, you know, showed up as the breakfast thing, right? So that's also I told you. Like I have find myself. I need learn in relaxed mood at my speed. That's why I actually feel to join all the program. So now I can feel, you know, I on my speed I learn, and also I feel like I'm I'm fortunate to get 
you know, discovered my life purpose. Also, same time, I learned like from Miss Bob Proctor. So I'm going to share with you. So let all of us wake up. You know, you can have the life you want. Don't let all those thoughts, you know, like behavior, basically, you know, all those things, whatever, not true, hold you up. Okay, talk to you soon.